It's Christmas time in August with Barbie uh, coming up after this. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Open up your presents. Yeah, toys. Okay, we have lots of spoilers in this, so if you do not want to spoil this for yourself, you better not watch. But if you have not looked on Instagram and have not seen the outfits that are being given away, I am not going to open up the doors in this package, so you do not have to worry about that. It'll still be a surprise which thing you're going to get in the doors, so you don't know when each thing is going to be given. But you've probably seen the outfits online. If you follow me on Instagram, you have, because... As soon as I found this, I posted it right away. I think I was one of the first people to see it. I was looking on, I think I found it on one of the Amazons. I put it up right away with all the outfits. This is one of the most coolest fashion packs that I've ever seen. The Barbie advent calendars haven't been that great. And Barbie clothes in general, I have a hard time finding ones that I like. More and more, it is coming up recently. You know, Black Label, have you ever heard of Barbie Basics? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Barbie Basics. Back in, I don't know, the 90s it was, where they had just simple denim. They were all dressed in black. Like, that's what I really like. But, I mean, little girls really like bright colors and lots of patterns. But that's not what transcends to fashion. Okay, they cover it in the plastic, I guess, so that everything is protected. And so they can show you what's inside, but then you don't have to spoil it. This is a really sturdy piece of cardboard. You don't have to spoil it for whoever you're giving it to. So here's everything that we are opening today. Really expensive. This has a $55 price tag on it in Canada. I think I've seen it in Europe, Amazon for $25. I think that's the price they have on it. So there is quite a discrepancy between the prices. Toys R Us does seem to have higher prices on things. However, I did get it on a double sale. All of the things that were over $50 from Barbie were on sale and there was an additional spend $60 and get $10 off. So I did get some savings on this, luckily. This is what the box looks like. I keep showing you. I was able to be like one of the first people. You know, I was probably the first person to buy this set because there aren't a lot of people buying advent calendars in August. But as soon as I saw this, I knew that I wanted to get it ASAP. They do have an homage to the original Barbie. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna look at it. You know, Barbie in her black and white bathing suit. I like how they made it like generic. You know, without making it holiday specific. You could give this as a Hanukkah gift as well. It's a holiday advent. Well, there's 24 days. Are there any people out there that celebrate Hanukkah and somehow incorporate the 24 days of presents into their holiday season? You could actually do it at any time. For instance, I'm doing it right now in August. I could do this over 24 days. You know what? Maybe I should have done it over 24 days in August from the very beginning. It's too late now for that. Inside, we have this Barbie in her very silver bathing suit. And she is a very pretty Barbie. Um, I guess it is a basic Barbie. She's got a an average skin tone. She is not just a beach Barbie. Her arms actually do go out. That is a bonus. She's got the regular two tiny feet. But she looks pretty pretty for a basic Barbie. I don't like to get basic Barbies. I've said that many times because, you know, how many Barbies can one person have? So whenever there's a chance to get a different character in these sets, like Nikki, for example. Nikki's always changing. She always seems to be looking different, have it with a different head mold. Hair is of good quality. Usually Barbie, even with the cheaper dolls, is always has soft hair. Um, yeah, and it ties at the back. Is that called halter? A halter bathing suit? I guess it looks cheaper than I think it is. It's definitely stretchy, and it fits her very well. 
So this is the background. That's really nice. Pink, sparkly holiday stars. And what does this look like? Oh, an empty piece of cardboard. And maybe I'd better turn this around like, th oh, what? Oh no. Oh no, it's glued. You can't. <laughs> the compartments are glued. I said I wasn't gonna spoil it for you, which things were under which doors. I'm, I'm managing to rip it out a bit. There's a lot of glue holding it on. Sometimes things do slip from one door to another. I have some experience with advent calendars. I think that they're a lot of fun. So sometimes things do fall. So it's nice that they took this gluing precaution. Let me look at how the doors are numbered. Are they numbered in order or are they random? Oh my glasses, they are. They are random. I don't know. I guess that's part of the fun of an advent calendar is that they just put the numbers all over the place. That always kind of infuriates me. I get so excited. I guess then you don't really know if you're not paying attention if you're getting a big prize or a small prize the next day. But yeah, they're all over the place and random. Let's just put that away. Here we go. Here is everything that's in the box. Are we going to put Barbie aside? And am I going to haul out my Alexa Bliss? I guess she's currently my favorite doll of all time. Can I say that statement? Let's put her in these outfits. I'm just going to jump to it and put her in the different outfits. I'm going to show you the clothes first because that's the best part. Oh, wow. All right, so we've got this skirt. It's a black skirt. So awesome to get some simple black basics. I mean, it does have a pink ruffle and the ruffle is just in the front. Let's put this on Alexa and see how it looks. It looks super 50s, and a lot of that's been happening. Maybe my 50s Barbie hidden back here, she probably would like to wear this stuff too. Maybe it's just Alexa who always looks super 50s. But do you see that? I mean, on the back of it, it's not anything special. The, the ruffle ends at the front, but you can see here. Let me put a top on her. So she's a little more presentable. This, I have to say, is my least favorite cut of a top. And they make this a lot in the little mini fashion packs. They've released this with the little ribbon cross thing. I would prefer just a simple top. I don't know why. I guess they're adding just a little bit more detail to it. As you can see, there's two ribbon straps and that ribbon thing down the front. I am disappointed that that is the top that is included with this set. So, yeah. Okay, so I, I don't like the top. I have to be perfectly honest. Maybe I could try to remove the ribbon. Actually, the ribbon is a major part of it. Yeah, there's a lot of loose threads. Let me try to clean it up just a little bit. All the thread seems to be coming out. But I guess that's okay, considering I don't really like this. Maybe I should take out all the thread so that I could take the ribbon off. I'm gonna try to make it look as neat as possible. It looks pretty presentable. It looks like a nice dress from the front. But I don't know if I approve of all of this midriff showing. I don't know. If I saw somebody dressed in this, I mean, I would probably be looking and think she looked really good but not something that I would approve of for my daughter or any little girl to wear. So in that sense, I do have a problem with it. From the front, like straight on, it does look pretty nice. All right, let's uh, take a look at some of these other pieces. What is this? I don't even know what this is. This is the first stole. Now I expect it to be more like a feather boa, but it is this big, thick piece of fur and it's got this elastic let's put that around your shoulders i think that is how you're supposed to wear it i think there's many ways you could actually put this on but i think that this way is a pretty good way now it is a lot less boa-y and a lot more animal-y kind of reminds me of muppet baby animal but it's okay it's uh definitely presentable like this and there's so many things you can do with a little tube of fur so I definitely support that. Let me stick it on the bathing suit girl around her shoulders like this or I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do with it right now. In this bag I'm showing you all the good stuff first. We've got this 
pleated long skirt. Oh, I expected that to be an elastic, but it's actually Velcro on the back. So far, everything's been Velcro. Bathing suit isn't Velcro. This could have very well been an elastic skirt too. I would have preferred if it was an elastic skirt. I prefer the elastics. This skirt goes a little higher waisted, so it makes this top look a little more presentable. However, we do have like a double ribbon action going there. I guess that's kind of an interesting detail. I think that it's I think it's a little too much going on here. Ribbon on ribbon. It is presentable. Give her the right accessories. Give her some silver accessories and that would pull it all together. The skirt's pretty cool though. So that looks nice. And it's made really nice. The like the ribbing in this. It's kind of like they're pleats, but they're like elasticy pleats. And the pleats are in the tool, is that what it's called? That's over the top. And this skirt is very nice too. You know what, if these were separate, I wish they would have made them separate, because then you would have had two extra pieces. You could have put this tool skirt over a pair of silver pants, and that would have been awesome. And that's so nice that this is hemmed, and this could have been an elastic hemmed, like basic pink skirt. I would have much more enjoyed it if they did something like that. And then you could have still had this look, but then also had many, many other looks at the same price. Actually, it probably would have been cheaper than sewing in the Velcro, just to have two elastic wasted bands. That's just my opinion, but I mean, still presentable. Let's move on to this silver jacket. And the silver jacket does not have a closing. I better try to put it on with a shirt on underneath first. We gotta check this out. It looks like a three quarter sleeve. Silver, it's actually made really thick and it's much nicer than I assumed it would be because, you know, a metallic material isn't always the best quality. This actually does feel like good quality. Now, both of these silver pieces, I might not be able to get them on to Alexa here because Alexa is a little more buff, a little more curvy than your regular Barbie, so it might not fit over her feet even. If you've seen any of my other Barbie videos, you know how I feel about Barbie's feet and how tiny and disproportionate they are. Sometimes I think it looks good, depends on the style of it. If it's anything that's vintage, 50s, 60s, sometimes 20s, if it makes her look deco-y, the small feet just fit that, but I do prefer these dolls. A lot has to do with the size of their feet and how proportionate they are. So far the jacket seems to be fitting quite well on her. It's just getting it over her hands. These WWE girls also have a wider hands band. Alexa has this eyebrow thing, so she kind of looks Elvisy. She kind of looks a little bit country, a little bit rock and roll, a little Vegas. So a silver jacket like this looks really good on her. It's very fitting and the quality of this jacket is very, very nice. And like I said, not always with these metallic materials is the quality of this good. So thank you, Mattel, for bringing us a nice metallic pattern. It kind of hides the inappropriateness of this shirt. The ribbon is still poking out at the bottom here. It would look good with this. It would look good with a lot of things. I do want to try this jacket on by itself. I think that that might be stylish. The pants, the matching pants. So we're getting a silver suit with this. So good. It takes this advent calendar right into the new year. Nothing more new year than these. These really feel like space astronaut pants. They're so thick. They feel like astronaut pants. They feel like snow pants. I don't think these are getting on her. I'm gonna try. Sometimes I will take out the bottom stitching of the bottom of the pants so I can fit their feet on because I don't think there's a lot of stretch to these pants, but I am going to try. These actually have gone on better than a lot of tight pants. Well, at least over the feet. I have some silver pants from Barbie and the Rockers, I believe. They were way more stretchy than this. Okay, I don't know if they're gonna fit over the calves though. There is no stretch in these pants. It seems like... <sighs> The left leg is a little wider than the right leg. Sometimes you can really destroy the material, especially if it's not of a higher quality. You can 
stretch it and pull out the stitching. I could at least try them on the standard size Barbie first. Whoa, it's the hat. Whoa, it's August. It's really warm. And have you ever tried to get into that pair of jeans that you're just not supposed to get into? <laughs> wow. Whoa. Whoa. I guess I'm trying way too hard. I think I have to stop. I can't get them on. They're way, way too tight on her calves. You can kind of see how she looks. She kind of looks like Elvis there. Her booty is sticking out. I think that they would go up over the booty if I could just get them up a little more over the calves. The material seems to be really nice because it hasn't busted or cracked open. With all of this tension, maybe I could put on my Barbie and the Rocker silver pants and it would match the jacket better. I'll have to check that out. That was quite an ordeal. I wonder if I stretched them out because they are quite loose on her. They're kind of Capri-ish, but that is going to showcase her shoes. And what a great time to showcase the shoes. We'll start with these black numbers. So this is the first pair of shoes that we get. Those are really, really nice. They make me almost appreciate her feet. Let me fix up this. Then we have these pink ones. I don't think I've ever seen those black shoes before. And I'm not sure I've seen these pink ones before either. This whole set reminds me of the Barbie career pop star set, which is a pretty awesome set because there's many changes of clothes in it. If you have not seen my video on that one, definitely check it out. It's a really awesome set. So those are the pink shoes, and these silver shoes might be in that Rockstar set, because they look familiar to me, but these shoes all look like they're unique. I don't know if I've seen any of these for sure. I might have just seen similar ones. We'll keep those silver shoes on her and see what else we got. <laughs> look at this accessory. It is a pink flat balloon. That's very odd. Very odd indeed, but cool nonetheless. And then we have this pink necklace. It's a longer necklace on her. It looks like this. There's the perfect curve into it to let it fall correctly. They did that very well. And there is a silver necklace and it looks like this. Very royal. Looks like a chandelier. We will keep that on her. I'm ending with all the silver stuff. We're gonna keep as much silver stuff on her as possible. Speaking of which, there is this silver purse. What those two wing things on this purse are? I guess it's a little bit open. I guess it opens really wide. That's bizarre. It looks like that it's like unpurposely, the flaps have been left out. I'll put that purse on her. Oh yeah, she's getting super silvery. Another super silvery thing is this crown. So she could be a princess. It's nice that she's getting all of these gifts for Christmas that are for her New Year's Eve party. I don't think you should wear that crown and this necklace at the same time. They're like a mirror of each other. I mean, it is an odd and cool looking look. There are some glasses that are black. There's also this black hairband that is also a bow. This looks better than the crown to me. She looks great. That's a nice like Audrey Hepburn kind of look. Oh, this is really interesting because there is no handle on it. I believe this is a pink clutch. How is she gonna hold it? Usually there'd be some kind of way for her to snap it into her hand. Only way for her to hold it is to squeeze, squeeze it into her arm. I feel like I'm missing something. It feels like really good plastic. I have to put my glasses on for this because it's like I'm missing something. It feels really rubbery and I really like it. Oh yeah, that would be the right side up is like this with the bow hanging down. It's a really nice design. I'm just really surprised that there's no holder on it. Can I get her to squeeze that under her arm again? There she's going. She's looking fancy, carrying her clutch. She got some bracelets. Oh, three bracelets in one package. That's a nice haul. Her first and only white accessory. That's kind of bizarre. The bracelet itself is kind of bizarre. It's got that triangular cutout in it. Kind of strange. And then there's the pink one. Is it a braided rope kind of thing? And then we've got this heavy metal rockin' one. 
with the studs and stuff on this side. It's layered. So three bracelets. She's looking pretty edgy now. There's more in here. There's this. There's a ring for you. I should have had this ring on the whole time. Here's something else. There's all these things. I keep finding more things. I guess there's 24 or more gifts inside. We have this really nice hair extension on a clip. The clip is a diamond. Let me pop this in her hair. She's going to look so much like Alexa Bliss. Now you can't even tell them apart. You know who's going to look good in these sunglasses? Alexa. Oh yeah, she looks great in those. It's a very nice hair clip. That diamond is nice. The hair, this is the realest looking hair and a hair extension I've ever seen. There's more. There is this present. The present is really, really hollow. And for some reason, it's almost like a charm. That's kind of bizarre. I, I don't know why that is because there is no string. So I don't know what that's about. But guys, there's two other things left. A kitten and a puppy. Here is the puppy ready to pounce and play. So, so cute and adorable. That is so cute that we get friends in here. That's what the bottom of his feet looks like. I'm showing you that because here is the kitty sitting down, all white, looking really, really adorable and cute and sweet. This is the bottom of that kitty, very hollow on the bottom. I think that's everything, unless there's something white and hidden in here. Wow, wow, look at all this stuff. Okay, that's it. That is the advent calendar. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna put together two awesome outfits from everything that we got here. So stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll show you the two outfits that I made for these two girls. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. Merry Christmas. Me, man, by the power of... Wait, it's Hercules that had the ring. What did Hercules say? So I'm going to have to show you this stuff in stages. I'm having a little bit of problems with these outfits. So with her, I do not like the black skirt with this top. It just doesn't go. It's too much going on. So this is the best option. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to bring in a third girl. And I think this skirt we're going to do with this top, I think that's going to work. Um, Space Princess Barbie, which... The outfit is coming along really well. I think it's really kind of cool with her not even having a shirt on underneath this. Her hair is really short, and I wanted to show you this. It's weird. I've had a lot of hair coming out of her. It seems differently rooted than I've ever seen before. It's all, like, spread out evenly, and I don't know. The hair is really short. I mean, it looks really good down, and it's really soft, nice hair, and maybe I should do it like that. But she's putting on a crown, so I always think when you have a crown on, you have to have your hair up. Okay, wow, I had no idea I was going to use every accessory without going overboard. So what happened was I pushed up the skirt as much as I could, and it totally covers it in and looks like a really awesome, classy, chanel -y dress. Now, I gave her so many accessories, uh, the hairband and the glasses and the necklace, and she's got the bracelet. She even has a puppy, and she's got the balloon. She's carrying her shoes because they don't fit on her feet. Now, I would have put the shoes on this Barbie's feet, but they don't fit. But the black shoes also look really good with this outfit. And she's got this edgy, I mean, it's a little modern for her, but it does work out. What I found was she did not look good in the black after all. Her proportions are a little bit different. And it's nice that she does have on her classic bathing suit, which she would normally wear. They're all doing this kind of uniforming thing which I kind of coined in my videos, meaning from head to toe you're wearing all one color, and it just looks really neat and tidy that way. And Space Princess Barbie right here is definitely doing that. She is an all silver from head to toe. I did put this hair accessory in her and the crown, but I think if I do take first the crown out, I think she looks a lot better in this outfit, and then this is not helping her outfit at all. So I am also going to remove that. And I think that this is a much better look. Always take off an accessory or two before going out the door. That has always been the rule. 
And yeah, she looks good. Her hair is too short really to put up. I tried to do it. It didn't really work. Unusual hair, still soft. Like I said, it is rooted unusual. I think this is a nice military. Uniforming is a very military look. Having your purse go across the jacket is nice. It also keeps it closed so she doesn't reveal too much. The big chunky necklace hidden underneath is also, I think, a nice touch. She looks great. All the girls look great. I don't even want her to take off any of the accessories. She's carrying the shoes. She's carrying the present. I think that's what that hole was for, so that you could put it on the finger and carry it. It just suits her to have so many accessories on. Even the pets get used in this. Love this. It turned out to be a better set than I thought. Three full awesome outfits in this. So good. Let's see if I can get some thumbnails here. One circle thumbnail picture. Can you call her a space princess if she doesn't have the crown on? Space princess. So classy and sophisticated here. Oh yeah, that looks great, Barbie. You're looking beautiful. Woo! Ooh, the hair.